Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics here today. I wanted to show you this spectacular 2021 Honda Goldwing GL1800. Um, you may notice that uh, some of the parts of it are missing. Um, but the part we wanted to show you that's here today, this is actually the bare stripped engine cases out of, uh, out of one of the bikes. And somebody brought this to us as a gift, unfortunately at great expense to him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the guy who actually had his engine destroyed by debris in the road. Um, and it's just a unique chance for me to show you uh, the problem in person, like in our shop up close on, um, on a way you wouldn't be able to see normally. There's pictures and things out of the internet of the engine cases being broken open from debris in the road. But uh, this one is a chance for me to really show it to you. So... These cases are oriented in the proper fashion here as they would be on the bike. And, but the part that doesn't belong is that gaping hole right there in the bottom of the engine. And what gets broken off is this boss here. And that should be there, but it's not. And if you come around to the front here and you'll see how it's, it kind of just hangs out there in the breeze. And so if something heavy enough hits it, it breaks it off and then you've got this giant hole in your engine. So I'm going to flip this over so you can see it. So now we'll be in a different orientation. So this is the uh, you know, left front of your engine. Now this part is on the engine case. This is actually the boss that holds the shift shaft um, on a six-speed manual transmission. But this engine case is shared by both the six-speed and the DCT, so they don't, they don't have two engine case sets. So, but this problem has happened to six-speed bikes, so it's not like uh, just DCTs. So um, even with the shift shaft in there supporting the metal, I've seen one with a shift shaft that was broken open like this with the whole shift shaft bent and everything. So, you know, what happens is something comes up, there's nothing, come around here, there's nothing behind this supporting it anywhere. This is just your oil filter housing area. So if anything hits this, um, there's really, they have one little triangulation here, but you can see the engine case isn't, you know, significantly thick there. I mean, it's, it's actually paper thin, to be honest, right, right there in that area. I'm gonna grab a caliper. Uh, so it's, in, it's incredibly weak. So right there, the wall of the engine case is on. Let me get some glasses. Uh, it looks like about four millimeters thick right there. But there's some bent metal. Yeah, you can come around here. You can see a little over four and a half mils, something like that, you know, in there. Um, so for you non-metric speakers, it's like, it's like 150 thousandths of an inch. Um, so... Um, a little more than an eighth, a little less than a quarter. Anyway, so uh, once this breaks, uh, all the oil pours out of the engine, the transmission stops working, and you'll notice your bike slows down. And then if you don't squirm and slide or fall in the oil, um, then you, and you get stopped, your motorcycle's done, and uh, you, you, can't turn, you can't run it anymore. It actually won't run. It stops itself because... Um, uh, First of all, the transmission won't go because there's no oil in it and it needs transmission, particularly on a DCT, to go. So, uh, now this one was done at uh, Southern Power Sports. So, if, and I guess there's a guy there that did a, did a real nice job for this customer. He was very happy. Um, and apparently they've done three. So, that would be important um, because this is something most Honda shops will never do or hopefully never do. But if they do, they'll do one or two in a lifetime. So, but, uh, you know, there's flat rate pricing for doing jobs like this. And I don't know any motorcycle shop in America that's going to do what the Honda flat rate is. And uh, so I was told this one was $13,000 to get done. So we've been saying it's about $8,000 to have this repaired. But apparently I was way wrong. So uh, about $13,000 is what they're, they're, this one would cost to have done. And uh, But if... Um, there is a video on the internet you can look at. It's like 2019 Honda Goldwing Engine Rebuild is the name of it on YouTube. I'll 
bumped some guy up there. He's a mechanic made the video. It went on for weeks in a time lapse and it took, um, it would take everything in this room and everything in my parts department to spread out the motorcycle to the point where this guy had it to where he could change the engine cases. It is a mind blowing job that, uh, to change these engine cases out. So, um, Anyway, I just thought that was interesting to see because you're pretty much never going to get to see that in your lifetime. Um, so our engine case guard you know, rides on the motorcycle in more or less in this fashion and protects that boss there and uh, from debris. And we've already had lots of photos and uh, thank yous from in just... We released this just before Christmas, and uh, we've already had tons of photos and uh, uh, thank you emails from people that showing us damage to this, you know, like grinds and cuts and bangs where they, you know, something would have hit this and would have broken their engine apart, and they've they've been uh, been saved by it. So, uh, thanks for sending those in. We're happy we're making a product that's actually, you know, doing something to help people um, avoid ruining their vacation, their bike, and possibly even have an injury. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, my name's Max. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm sorry I've been la uh, lazy with posting content, but I'm going to get some cranking up here today. So thanks a lot. All right. We're going to say no. Yep.